Hey guys, and today we're going to be doing my Stanley Cup Bracket Challenge. Full predictions for 2023. So, I uploaded two shorts. One with all those round one matchups and one with all the my predictions for the first round. And that went very... They both have almost a thousand views, even though the predictions won. It only had 30 views, and then I re-uploaded it. And it's at like 850 views. And then my other matchups one is a like 1.4k view so i'm gonna probably do that for all the rounds um and just keep uploading more shorts and probably less long form videos but i'll keep uploading breaks whenever i have them my random pack breaks almost ready of opg and the tim hortons legends break so if you didn't see my predictions for round one those are just what i'm gonna choose so for the west you're choosing colorado over seattle obviously that's an easy choice. And then I'm going to choose Dallas over Minnesota because Dallas is just more experienced in the playoffs with their core. And Ottinger is a lot better goalie than Philip Gustafson. I think the Stars have more score top-end scoring depth, even though the Wild have so quite a few good scoring players, but they aren't very great. Dallas has many great players like... Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan have kind of resurged. Um, Rupi Hintz, Jason Robertson, Joe Pavelski, all those are very good scoring players. And then in the um, bottom half, we're choosing Vegas over Winnipeg in a rematch of the 2018 Western Conference Finals. But I could see Winnipeg pulling off an upset here, but I just think it's unlikely. If Hellebuck can bail them out and the offense clicks, it could happen. And then I'm choosing Edmonton over LA. You can't really make the argument that Edmonton has a bad defense. Now they got Matthias Ekholm. He's been really good. Edmonton's been al earned almost all the points they can over the past like couple months or month. They're really insane. Hopefully you their goaltending just holds up though. So we're going to choose Colorado and Seattle. I'll see five games. Also, Minnesota. I could see this going to seven, honestly. Huh? So it was five and then seven. Yeah, why isn't it working now? Five, seven, six, seven, what? Why isn't this working? So then we're going to go to the east right now and then see if that will work. Boston over Florida. Florida could pull off the upset, but it's just hard to go against Boston, at least until the second round. Toronto and Tampa. You know how I feel. I'm a Lightning fan. There's no way Toronto beats Tampa. Tampa just has a superior high-end defense and goaltending. I really hope Tampa beats Toronto because the Matthews don't want to re-sign. They'll trade one of their other core players, and it's just the start of the end for Toronto. It's continuous playoff streak. Um... Carolina over New York. I'm going to choose Carolina, but it's tough with all the injuries. So Roken could bail the Islanders out. This is probably the most likely series where you could see a wild card team win, I think. And then it, Devils and Rangers, that are pretty close in the standings, but the I have to give it to the Rangers. They just have so much more playoff experience. So we're going to say Boston in five. Tampa Bay in seven. Why doesn't it work? I don't understand why this isn't working. So why isn't it not working? Well, in the second round, we'll start then. Honestly, I'm really uncertain on all of both of these matchups. 
I think Uninjured could bail Dallas out enough that if they play well enough, they can beat Colorado. Colorado doesn't have Landis Galgal. A lot of their good players have had injuries, and if those re they they reoccur, then it's gonna be very dangerous for Colorado. So I honestly want to pick Dallas because you never know. And I think Dallas could be the team to pull off an up, a really big upset here in the second round. I really do. But I don't know if I can go against Colorado if when they have everything working. You know, I'm going to have to go with Colorado, though. I think Dallas could very easily pull off an upset here. Because Colorado... Colorado did, like, have a very strong finish to the season to take the Central. Now, Vegas and Edmonton. I think Edmonton has to take it because Vegas's goaltending isn't good enough. Uh, their defense has to be outstanding. I think Logan Thompson is overrated, and Jonathan Quick, they're just carried by Ve- Vegas. This is good defense. It's the same with Colorado and Vegas in 2020 to 2021. Both of those teams got exposed in when you saw when they played other good teams. Okay, so now um, for Colorado and Edmonton, I think I'm going to have to go with Edmonton here. I think as long as their goaltending holds up, they should be fine because they don't have any big injuries right now, and Colorado does. And they're you can't you have to ride the hot team. So, okay, so Carolina and New York. I just have to say, New York, their goaltending can bail them out a lot more than Carolina's can, I think. It's just Carolina's defense. Their goaltenders are good, but not as good as Shesterkin. And Carolina has scoring issues, probably with Sveshnikov and Pacioretty out. Now, this is going to be very, very, very controversial. But I'm picking Tampa Bay over Boston. Tampa Bay is just a lot better than Boston. If I'm being honest, and when in 2020 Boston also won the President's Trophy, um, and Tampa Bay beat them in five games in the second round without Steven Stamkos, and they don't have any major injuries right now, so I think Boston is going to lose to Tampa Bay, and if not, they're going to lose to New York. I just don't think that... Boston is good enough. Like, their defense probably doesn't have enough playoff experience with... Their forward course sure does, but I don't know about their defense because they haven't really... McAvoy wasn't that important to the team when they made their Stanley Cup final run. Hampus Lindholm wasn't on the team. Linus Olmark has never made the playoffs before this season. And I think that will show against a good playoff experience team like Tampa or the Rangers. And now for the Eastern Conference Final, Battle of Three Seeds, which is kind of surprising, but I don't know who to choose here because I'm a Tam- I am really want to pick Tampa, but New York is just a stacked team, and if everything clicks for them, they're just unbeatable, probably. I think the Rangers have a really good chance of beating Tampa. But I don't know. I'm not going to go against Tampa unless another Eastern Conference team proves me wrong. I have to. And here, same thing as last year. I'm picking Tampa Bay. I think Vasilevsky can bail them out enough. And Tampa Bay scoring can get on enough of on Stuart Skinner. Matthias Ekholm is just going to be played a lot against Colorado, I think to try and stop the goal scoring, and then he'll probably just be tired out by the time they played Tampa. So I'm picking Tampa. No, how do you get this to work? 
So off camera, I got the games to work. So it shows Colorado in five, Dallas in seven, Vegas in six, Edmonton in seven. And then in the east, I chose Boston in five, Tampa in seven, Carolina in six, and the Rangers in seven. And then for the total goals scored in the Stanley Cup final, I chose 33. Because you think of like about five goals a game for six or seven games. That's about 30-something. So that's what I chose. So thanks for watching and bye. He, 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 he.